Belgium is one of the countries where nuclear is responsible for a large chunk of carbon-free baseload energy. Years ago, during a routine inspection, hydrogen flakes were discovered inside the metal of the pressure vessels. As should be, the discovery of the hydrogen flakes was communicated with the public. The operator of the Tihange and Dual facilities took precautionary measures and stopped operating the reactors in order to perform tests on the vessels and get experts from Oak Ridge National Laboratories to look at the issue. After much research and testing, the pressure vessels were given a new seal of approval, and normal operations continued. Regardless of the safety of the reactors, Public mistrust has led to the implementation of highly precautionary measures, all to appease the public. If only this were enough. Belgian and Dutch protesters, and a great deal of the public, are convinced that the reactors are inherently unsafe and keep protesting the continued operation of the Tihanj and Dual power plants, partly because of a publication by a Swiss institute that claims that the chance of a Chernobyl-like accident is high if one of the pressure vessels were to rupture. Suffice to say that the chance of the pressure vessels rupturing is nil, so the chance of a Chernobyl-like accident is equally non-existent. But since the publication said high risk, quote unquote, People assume that there is a risk in the first place, which for all intents and purposes is not true. The Belgian government and the operator have chosen to close the plants by 2025, unless they have not managed to offset the electricity generation, which is a lot. In total, the Bel in total, the six Belgian nuclear reactors have a capacity of about four and a half thousand megawatts and this is sufficient to generate about 60 to 70 percent of the electricity which is being consumed in Belgium at any given time. Still, this is not enough for the protesters. They want to get these plants closed as soon as possible, and so they went to several police stations in the Netherlands and Belgium to file complaints against these decisions. What the police have to do with this is beyond me, but it shows that these people are still not done. Dogma is driving this issue into the wrong direction. Losing Tihange and Dool, without factoring in any new nuclear energy in the Netherlands, Belgium or Germany, would seriously hamper baseload capabilities, and as long as coal, gas and biomass are the preferred energy sources, as they surely are in Germany and the Netherlands, the biosphere and the people are the ones pulling at the shortest end. Belgium is navigating through seriously dangerous waters at this moment. Not because of the reactors, because I'm confident that these are perfectly safe, but because they have no sound plan other than let's import Russian gas from Gazprom while pretending to build a lot of solar and wind. Thank you all for watching and have a nice day.